welcome to my humble abode. Come on in. to our house tour video, long overdue. This is our humble home where Charlie, Dexter and Dickens and I live. Charlie and I moved in just under six years ago. Just after the Olympics. Just isn't after it? the Olympics, yep. And it's a very cosy home. It's not a showroom by any means. Very well lived in, as you will see. Josie moved in with me when I was living with friends. Mm -hmm. And that was carnage. There was six of us guys, I think, Yeah. Uh, on Clapham High Street. And then we had the opportunity to move here, which was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's taken us, what, probably like two or three of the six years to get everything in order. Yeah, over the, over the time we've lived here, we have slowly but surely upgraded some of the furniture. Some of it is still the same things that we actually painted. Shops. Yeah, a lot of the things we got from charity shops and we painted them up when we moved in. And then a few things are newer, but I will show you all of that as we go around. So without further ado, let's go. So we're starting off in the living room. This is probably where we spend 90% of our time, apart from when we're sleeping. Um, and we've got our television, a couple of sofas, sofa bed as well. Although this is also the dog's bedroom, so people don't often sleep down here. One of my favorite parts of the room is this marble table, which comes in very handy for shooting vlog photos. We love to have candles lit in the house as well. So we've got quite a lot of candles ranging from this ginormous one, which I think was from anthropology. I think I bought this back from the US. And then a couple of small ones. Charlie particularly loves this very snazzy Tom Dixon one. Got a couple of real flowers and a couple of these like everlasting flowers. We absolutely love these. These are from a uh, Grace flower box. We've got pink ones. And then we also have some white ones over in the corner. As you may be able to see, we still have some cards up. A lot of these are engagement cards. We got engaged four or five months ago now, but you know, you only get engaged once, so we're keeping the cards up. We also have mine and Charlie's uh, Valentine's Day cards. We just have this weird tradition where we keep them up the whole year, which is kind of strange. Um, this fireplace is, I think, really, really beautiful, and this was here when we moved in. We didn't really need to do too much like structurally to the house when we moved in, so that's a nice feature. We always have some nice candles above there, and then we've got lamps, bookshelves, and oh my gosh, let me show you this little guy. So this is Mr. Gnome. He doesn't really have a name, I feel like... Norbert. Norbert, okay, now he does. This always reminds me of when I used to work at Mulberry because the first fashion show I did when we worked there was gnome-themed, or technically English country garden, and the whole of Claridge's was filled with gnomes, so we were able to take one of them home after the show. So Norbert now lives in our lounge, and he's kind of creepy but kind of cute, so we just, we just leave him in the corner. We have a couple of bookshelves either side of the television, and these have got things like uh, photos, more cards, we've got Charlie's huge DVD collection and Blu-rays, also a couple of blogger awards, a couple of J&J &J awards, um, and just generally most surfaces in this house are just kind of filled with really personal things. We don't like to over-style anything, it's all very very lived in. And then we've just got radio, a couple of, uh, I guess you call this a nest of tables. Not gonna lie, we eat our dinner off these quite regularly. This side is probably a little bit prettier, bookshelf-wise. Um, we've got a few more like memory things on here. I've got my dissertation, which is this ginormous bad boy here. We've got some pictures from the holiday where Charlie and I met, which is actually covered by our Alexa, How Times Change. Sonos, Charlie's a big tech nerd, so we have quite a lot of cool technology in the house. We both love the Alexa, the Sonos, we've got obviously a really snazzy TV, and then we have a Sonos soundbar in there, which is, this is where all of our electronics are, because I don't like to see them, so they get hidden away in there. I've got quite a lot of fashion books up on the shelves as well, a few of the books which I have collected over the years, and I thought I would try to style them not so they're all in one row, so I've got some of them which are like on their sides, some of them I like to show the cover of, including this lovely sausage dog book, and then just general things like candles and cactuses on the shelves over there. Down here, next to a little dicky on the floor, we've got our Dyson, I think it's called an Airflow, 
another bit of snazzy technology in the house. This not only heats and cools, but also purifies the air, which is wonderful. So around here, this is our main lounging sofa. Up here is uh, Dexter and Dickens' favourite place to lie because they can see Charlie and I when we're working, they can see us when we're relaxing and they can also keep an eye on their garden. So this is their favourite place to sleep. Over here we have our art picture wall. Are you really a blogger if you don't have a decennia wall in your house? And then I've got a few family photos and we have a lot of sausage dog mementos in the house, including this rather handsome chap. This is our dining table and this is one of the pieces that we bought back in Gloucester and painted ourselves. I feel like this is the kind of thing that in a shabby chic shop in London you could spend over a thousand pounds on. We got the table and six chairs for under a hundred pounds. So it's great. Painted it up with some nice farrow and ball and mizzle paint. And it's a great table for eating and also working. So this is our office. Got my laptop. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this table is normally covered in papers and files and books and things like that. These are just gorgeous. I had these at a shoot yesterday and it makes me very happy to have lots of flowers everywhere. So at blogger events, I have this little tactic where I hang around until the end of an event and um, often they say we can take the flowers, so that's a bonus. And um, yeah, that's our, that's our dining table. This here is Dexter and Dickens bed number one. They have no less than four beds in this room. It's uh, definitely their house as much as it is ours. But let me now show you through to the kitchen. So this is our kitchen, it's nice and bright, it's at the front of the house. Again, we've not really done much to this room since we moved in. Uh, we have got another lovely farmhouse style table. I wanted it to still feel very countryside-ish, despite the fact that we live pretty much in central London. A lot of the things in this house don't match either, so as you can see we have loads of random chairs, which we've also painted ourselves. Kitchen-wise, most of our appliances are hidden, very boring, you don't need to see them. My favourite appliance, however, is my Thermomix, which I talk about a lot, it's the best gadget ever. Over here is Charlie's favourite area, this is our coffee area, we've got our Nespresso machine, this is where we keep our capsules, and then the milk frother, this gets very well used. Um, all of our bits and bobs in the cupboards, microwave, sink. Again, it's quite higgledy-piggledy, we don't have like matching mugs, everything is just totally, you know, well used, well loved. We've got some nice little Emma Bridgewater pots, which are lovely, and then our utensil area, sink, copper pans, we have a few cookbooks up on the walls, some of our favourites include the Tom Carriage one, I also really love Madeline Shaw's cookbooks. This we actually picked up on Charlie and I's first UK break together, we went to Beaconsfield to celebrate um, I think our five month anniversary and we picked this up in a shop there, so that's fits that wall absolutely perfectly. Another thing that I love in this room is our hand soap. This is the Reverence Aesop one. It has little granules in it, so when you wash your hands you get a nice little exfoliating treat. So that's, uh, that's that. Let me now show you upstairs. This is our downstairs bathroom. It's very small, not much to show you there. And then we head upstairs. Mind out for the little hound. Oh, this is our stair gate. It's actually a garden centre chicane. It's not very big, but it's enough to stop sausage dogs going up the stairs. So let's go up. As you come up the stairs, this is the first room that you come to. It is our second bedroom. We used to have a double bed in here and we used to rent this room out via spare room. We've lived with a couple of couples, but now it's just Charlie and I and the dogs living here. We do still have this box bed in the room. It actually, um, I can show you, very cleverly springs open to reveal a single bed inside. So that comes in very handy if we have anyone staying. This is also the room that I do my filming in. You might recognize this little setup behind me. And then around this side, we have a couple of wardrobes. As you probably know, the room next door has been converted to a walk-in wardrobe. So we moved the wardrobes into this room planning on putting one of them on Gumtree, but at the moment they're kind of filled with a lot of my beauty products and clothes that I need to sort through, so I'm not going to show you inside because they are overflowing. On this rail behind me is where I tend to put the clothes that I have just recently bought and I want to think about whether I'm going to keep them or not, how I'm going to style them. So this is a lot of my new in, and the same with shoes. I have this lovely mirror as well, which again is a great prop for filming and for showing my outfit of the days in vlogs. 
Then I've got my everyday handbag down there. This is again something I use for filming. It's a lovely little love tub seat from Oliver Bonus. And then on the windowsill I have got a few pretty things, cacti, some fake hydrangeas, some nice smelly Ted Baker candles and diffusers, and then this is where I keep some of my jewellery. And then in this corner we have this nice shelving unit, and I tried to style this up to look pretty. We've got a few handbags on here, some of my favourite perfumes, and then sometimes with Blogger Mail you get sent these gorgeous boxes which I just can't put in the bin, so I have a few of my favourites like Jo Malone, Tom Ford, um, Erin as well, some more perfumes, and then don't look down at the bottom because that's where I keep my wires and my travel makeup bags and things like that. And then this here is my makeup storage slash dressing table. I usually put the lights on on the mirror and I find that it's really good lighting for doing my makeup. On the top here, this little box, if you will, is a collection of beauty products that I'm currently testing out. So if I want to keep things out and trial them for a little bit, I'll put them in that box. Then we've got my makeup brushes, this little Muji stacking system is where I keep the majority of my makeup. I have done a makeup storage and clear out video quite recently, so I'll leave that one linked down below if you'd like to explore my makeup area a little bit more. These are my most used everyday perfumes on the top here, and then also my makeup brushes. This whole thing is pretty much filled with beauty products and hair products and things like that, whereas this is more of a paper and like the girl version of a mandrel so yeah I won't show you in there because it's very very boring so that's it for this room let me show you our walk-in wardrobe this is our walk-in wardrobe room which you guys have seen many times before here on the channel I will leave my latest uh, wardrobe tour video linked down below and up on the screen as well so that you can see it in more detail but basically we used to have this as a spare bedroom, it was a very small room and we decided that it would be far more useful and lovely as a walk-in wardrobe to help with our storage solutions. This side is my side, I have all of my clothes in here, shoes, clothes, coats, bags, etc, etc. And then I really love this window seat area, it's just a very nice feature of the room. And on this side is Charlie's side, we have mirrored section and he has all of his blazers his many many roll necks and pairs of Chelsea boots are all tucked away in there and then if I flip you around I can show you the shelving unit as well and then this is where I just store my prettier things, bits and bobs that I don't want to get tucked away. So I've got some of my favourite pairs of shoes, some of my prettiest handbags, and then perfumes and things like reed diffusers and general pretty things. And then down at the bottom again we have the messy area which is where I keep my hair, bits and bobs. So that is the walk-in wardrobe room. At the end of the corridor we have got our guest bathroom, so Charlie and I do have an ensuite in our bedroom, but this is the spare bathroom. Charlie tends to use this most of the time, he has all of his manly cosmetics in the cabinet above the sink, which Charlie actually broke by dropping, this is such a first world problem, Charlie dropped a big Le Mer moisturiser on the sink, cracked it, I was not impressed. We do have this lovely Victorian clawfoot style bath, which I love. So this is Charlie's cabinet, a few of his products, Aesop Kiehl's, I think this is the moisturiser that he dropped on the sink, and um, yeah, that's all of his cosmetics in there. So last but not least, this is our boudoir. This is um, mine and Charlie's bedroom. Our bed is probably one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the house. We got this from, it was called the French Furniture Company and we got it as we moved into the house. We absolutely love it. It's quite big for this room, but yeah, big fan of that. And then we have a lot of the furniture in this house is matching. I think it's a company called Signature Collection or something along those lines. I'll leave as much as possible that I've mentioned linked down below, but the chest of drawers, you may remember, match the furniture you saw in the second bedroom. And then we also have the unit that you'll see in a second facing the bed, which is from the same company. This little thing over here is something that I now absolutely rely on. It's a clock, which is not very attractive, but it projects the time on the ceiling, and I find that so useful. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you don't need to check your phone or anything, you just look up and it tells you what time it is, so absolutely love that. Charlie's ginormous selection of fragrances on his bedside table, and then we have these really nice lamps. I'm trying to remember where we got them from. I'm not sure, but I'll find out and leave them linked below. Again, we have a couple of candles. This Elemis one is a real favourite. It's one of their life elixirs. It's quite a masculine scent as well. We have a lot of 
unisex kind of candles in here. And then I'll show you around to my side of the boudoir. This is my bedside table. I just have my evening skincare products on here. I have even more products in my bedside drawer. Same lamp, a little bit of jewellery. I put my jewellery that I wear kind of every day that I take off before bed goes on there. Some fake flowers. We have such a mix of fake and real flowers in the house. And then our bedding. We have a lot of different sets from the White Company. These are also from the White Company, these big pillows. We didn't want to put too many pillows on because who can be bothered to make their bed every morning with millions of pillows? But these are the ones that we have. Charlie and I are both quite OCD when it comes to making the bed and making it look the same way. In fact, um, once we had a couple living here and we found out that, well, that while we would go away at the weekends, they would come and sleep in our bed. And the way that we found out was because they would leave the cushions a different way to how we used to leave them. So that was, that was just really, really weird. And in this corner, we have the chair. And I think that everybody has this chair in their bedroom. It's clothes that are too clean to go in the washing basket and too dirty to get put back in the wardrobe so this is the chair where miscellaneous clothes get put and then we have this unit which is again from that same collection another bit of tech that i love is our alarm clock i think this is a philips somnia i think that's what it's called and this starts glowing at 6 o'clock in the morning and it wakes you up as though it's the sun waking you up and then at 6.30 it starts playing alpine noises like cows mooing and birds chirping and we really really like it. And then we have another big TV. We do watch TV maybe most nights before bed. We watch Netflix for like an hour or so and we're normally fast asleep by 11pm so that's the TV, we have a couple of nice photos of Charlie and I in the room and then we, in the evenings, tend to light candles most evenings and then we have a couple of diffusers in the room as well. This one is from Neom, it's from their Scent to Sleep collection. It's a really nice smell for falling asleep to and we also missed our pillows with a pillow mist from that same collection as well which is another thing that Charlie's quite OCD about doing every single day. Last but not least, this is our ensuite bathroom. We renovated this bathroom about a year ago now. I really like the style in here. It's still kind of rustic, a little bit shabby chic, but a lot nicer than it was when we first moved in. The sink and the toilette are, oh, and the shower, are from a company called Heritage Bathrooms, and I just think they're really, really lovely. This is my bathroom cabinet. This was from John Lewis. And inside, I probably should have prepared and made this really neat, but a real glimpse into my skincare routine. These are the products that I use most evenings. Not all of them, obviously. Um, my toothbrush, toothpaste, so messy, I'm almost embarrassed to show you. And then I've got some nice molten brown things on the sink, some body lotions, etc. And then our lovely big shower area as well. One final sausage dog item that our guests see as they leave the house is our sausage dog doormat. And on that note, um, I will say farewell, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!